Um, so the file that has applied the Fama and Friends three factor model is available in this blog, Banks and Markets. Uh, if you go to the tab Finance and scroll down, uh, in the section Investment, you'll find the PowerPoint file, which is this, and the Excel file, which is Application Farm and Friends. So, if you open the PowerPoint file, um, you will see the various steps that you need to follow, which are these eight steps. Um, remember, these eight steps are made to make your job easy to complete the application part. But what is really important is the equation. Wu, would you like to explain the equation? Yes, of course. You can see the equation. Uh, the first, you know, the left side is e, the dependent variable. And the right side, we have a three independent variable with a market risk, side, and bull market value. So, the, the third one is price to book ratio. Yes. The second one is based on market capitalization. Right. And this is from William Sharp, the risk premium. Right. Okay, which then basically means you need data for these very variables. Yes. We will got like five variables: book to market ratio, market capitalization, monthly stock price including dividend, risk free rate of return, and market return. All right. So uh, in the application part, then you have all these data. But what is the nature of your data, Wu? Yeah, I have taken the for C100 stocks in my sample, which is for the period 2009 to 2013. Okay, uh, this is interesting, the 2009-2013 yes. period. This is very interesting, you know, because it is just after the last recession period. All right. Um, so that basically then means you also need to construct the six portfolio if you are following the Farm and Friends 3 Factor 1993 model. And these are the names that can be given to those six portfolios. Um, and then here the, the steps uh, explains what you need to do, but we need to remember this formula. There are two important formulas um, which are the, available in these two slides. Wu, would you like to mention about this first formula? Yeah, this first formula, you know, uh, you have to calculate SMB. So it means it's average, uh, the return of three low, three small portfolio and bid portfolio. Okay, that's good. And then this is all coming from the market capitalization of a small, low, small, medium, um, small, high, and big, low, big, medium, and big, high companies. Yeah. Um, whereas this is HML, which is about price to book ratio. Right. Um, and then we need to calculate this as well. So together, uh, SMB, HML, and then the risk premium will make the three variables that is required, correct? Yes, yes correct. Okay, these formulas are also interesting for people uh, who have uh, not used Farm and Friends model before. Um, so you can look into them. Now we will go to the Excel file uh, where the application is um, conducted, um, application is made for the data uh, talked by Wu earlier on, which is for 94 different companies taken from FTSE 100 um, list of, um, list of uh, London Stock Exchange companies. Now, uh, the small and big um, companies um, uh, have been taken from those 94 companies. And as I can see here, there are 47 small companies and 47 big companies. Am I correct, Wu? Yes. Okay. And then would you like then to explain about these six different portfolios? Yes, six different portfolios are constructed based on move to market value and 
market capitalization. And you know, for example, SL it means small and low. It means like you know intersections between the book to market with this small group and low group. All right, then that basically means here you have these uh, various um, variables uh, which represents small low small medium small high big low big medium and big high and these are the total number of companies representing that particular variable which you were able to identify by mixing up the small and big and the low medium and high companies yes okay and what did you do after that i uh, think i think you wanted to talk about the risk free rate correct Yes, you know, the risk-free rate we huh? got here is the UK Treasury bill 30 days. Okay, and you why did you take UK Treasury bills there? Because we do for like British stocks. Okay, so because that these all are British stocks, the good, good, uh, very relevant proxy of risk-free rate uh, for British stocks would be UK Treasury bills 30 days. Okay, that's good. And uh, what is the next step then? I think you were telling about finding out the excess return. Yes. Okay. Uh, where is that? You have calculated first, yeah. the excess return. Just before that, you know, uh, to calculate the SMB and SML, we have to base on these two formula, right? Uh -huh. And so that means we have to calculate average return of each portfolio like this. So I calculate it. You can see for the SL sheet for instance, and you can see every return of all of the stocks in the SL portfolio and then I will got the single return of each portfolio like SL, isn't it? Yes, so this uh, that you have just highlighted in SL return basically represents the average return of all companies in that portf portfolio group. Correct. Right. And this is what you have done for um, for all companies in that portfolio. And then again, you repeat the same process for SL as well. For SM, for HH, BL, BM, and BH. All right. So these all six portfolios are there for which you yes. have calculated the average return. Yes. Okay. And now we go to SMB, HML, and you see we got all of the average return of each portfolio. And uh -huh. now based on the, the formula, we got SMB and HML. So these six portfolios are used to then calculate SMB and HML using these two formulas. Mm -hmm. Okay, and after that? After that, you know, we have to calculate asset return of this portfolio, mm -hmm. not just normal return like this. Mm -hmm. This means we have to subtract the risk-free rate. Okay, so to calculate the excess return, you used um, these six portfolios average return and you've taken away the risk-free rate to get the excess return for each of those portfolios. Correct. And um, after this, uh, we need to do estimations. Yes. Uh, where is the worksheet for the estimation? You can see FF faster, isn't it? Yeah. And you can see we got three independent variable, market risk, side, and book to market value. Uh -huh. And and we got six dependent variable as well. All right. So each of these dependent variables will be entered into the equation one one dependent variable at each point in time will go into the estimation with these three variables as um, independent variables, right? Right. And then, would you like to show how you undertake the estimation in Excel? Yes, of course. Uh, you can go to the data and data analysis. But you know, sometimes you don't have a data analysis. And you can go to File, then Options, Add-ins, Go. And now you click on the analysis to pack. Okay. Okay, this is already. Yeah, already. I have added. so. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but thanks for demonstrating that. Yeah. So click on data analysis, and then you go to the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
and now you have to get the dependence and independence variable. Okay, so the dependent variable you take uh, the SL. SL first, then yes. you got all the SL. Yes. And then you click OK, and then you take the independent, yeah, in which case three. it's three variables. Right. Okay, and then you take all of them, mm -hmm. and then you want to find out the output of this estimation. Yes. So you place where you want the output to, okay. to, to come, and then you click OK, and you get the results. Yes? Yes. Um, something just happened there, so which means basically uh, maybe we didn't select the range correctly. E1 to E61, which is correct, and B1 to... Okay, we should have only selected up to D61, and all right, and then the label is there, and this is done. Okay, overwrite is fine, okay. and we got the result. Yes. yes, and now you can look at the estimations, and here's is some estimation we got. And to read this result, you mm -hmm. can read here in mm -hmm. the cell, right, mm -hmm. the coefficient of the uh, SMB, SML, and market risk. Mm -hmm. But you can see, for we we'll can see the p-value, mm -hmm. this one and this one. We compare to the five percent significant value, mm -hmm. and this one, and this one is you know less than five percent. It means it's significant. Yes, which basically that means that these two variables are meaningful. Yes. Uh, whereas this variable is not meaningful in predicting the uh, stock returns right okay so this one is just for sl portfolio okay so so which basically that means that for all the portfolio you can combine these results and present in a nice table yes exactly okay and furthermore you can see at just as where it looked like you know 60 yeah. percent yeah this means the model is quite good isn't it Yes, uh, we, we may prefer, you know, go 80%, 90%, but this is reasonable. So, yes, it's understandable that uh, there is some prediction made by the model. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, these various files are available in the Excel file inside the blog. So, hopefully, people will find it very useful. Uh, I would like to thank you very much, uh, Wu, for doing this hard work and making this file available for everyone to see, learn, and benefit. So thank you very much, Rupert. Thank you, this. that's fine.